Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to reading for the week of December 31st. This week I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to catch me live, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you can catch me live. But let's see <clears throat> what we have going on for you this week. All right. Uh, you start off with the Nine of Clubs. I do feel like, yeah, success, number one, Ten of Clubs, second best card in the deck. So uh, this is a card of plowing forward towards success or making huge leaps towards success and whatever it is that you want. It doesn't even have to be just one thing. It could be money, it could be love, it could be both. And, uh, you know, it's a card of great progress. Nine of Clubs is a card of experimentation. It's a card of trying different things to meet somebody and, and or, you know, to make more money, whatever it is, whatever your goal is. It's a card of doing multiple things to do that. It's a card of, you know, trying everything you can think of possible to do that. And it says you will be successful. You know, it's my card of throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. So, you know, I would say try everything in whatever it is that you're trying to do. I would say that if you have a business, really good cards for marketing, really good cards for your imaging as well, like just how your business appears. So if you have a business, it's really good. Even at work, this is a card of how you appear. So changing your appearance could lead to a lot of success and growth in business or work, and it could lead to a lot more success as well with this card. These can be cards of responsibility as well, and they just say that you could be getting extra responsibilities at this time. So again, that could be like a promotion, a raise, pretty much anything that would lead to extra responsibilities. It could even be like a baby as well, obviously, that's extra responsibility. Uh, next, you have the four hearts, so new love. And yeah, some of you could have an air sign coming in. You also have like, or you have everything here. So it could be any sign coming in for you for love. This love could be, you know, it could be somebody who like moves into where, to your town, moves into your apartment building, whatever it is, wherever you live, this can represent a card of a move. So it could be somebody moving to you, or if you're moving, you know, your move could attract new love into your life. It could also be another type of move as well. It could be like, again, it could be like a promotion. Maybe you uh, end up in a different building, or maybe you are in a different office or something like that, and that leads to to more love or you know new some meeting somebody new for others this combination could just represent a new job something that makes you very happy something that's very profitable and stable and secure next you have the five of diamonds my just do it card and the six of clubs card of growth uh, five of diamonds says just do it anything you're thinking about doing if you're thinking about taking a risk starting a business getting a new job starting a new relationship this card says just do it it's also an amazing card for selling a home. So if any of you are selling a home or selling anything, really, if you're in sales, uh, it's a very good card. You know, just represents selling things. And Six of Clubs just represents mo movement and progress. Like I said, you have uh, almost almost every single progress card here. So there could be a lot of progress for you this week. There could be a lot of success for you as well. There could have been could be a lot of forward movement for you this week also. Six of Clubs is the card of burdens, and it says that uh, you are releasing burdens at this time. You are releasing things that are holding you back. You are kind of like letting go of stuff, which is nice as well. Next, you show up as the Queen of Clubs, four diamonds, yep. <clears throat> so this is a card of patience for your soulmate. Four of diamonds, this is you waiting for your soulmate. So a lot of you could be just waiting for a soulmate to come in, or you could be waiting for love in general. Some of you could also be moving. Four of diamonds, again, two fours. Both both the four, these two fours represent moving. So you could be moving or planning a move for some of you. Uh, four of diamonds is also the card of increase in wealth. So there could just be more money on the table for you this week at this time. And I feel like that will be really good for you as well. This is also my card of newness. So you do have a lot of new cards here. Nine of clubs, ten of clubs, four of diamonds, five of diamonds even. Five of diamonds is a card of birth, birthing something new into your life. So there's definitely a lot of new stuff here. Next, you have the seven of diamonds and the six of diamonds. Look at you. So messages about money. A lot of you could be getting messages about money. This would actually be messages about how to increase your money. Uh, six of diamonds is the card of planting seeds. It's like the card of, and this would be like you learning from somebody how you can make more money. And that could be literally, or it could be having a dream about how to do it, or it could be also your boss coming to you and saying like, hey, we want to give you a raise, but you have to like do the, these things. So there could be a lot of messages coming in about money. It could also be that you hear that you're going to get a job. So if you don't have a job, it could be a job coming in. And for others of you, this card just says, keep the momentum going, the six of diamonds. It says if you're like working in business or whatever, if you have, if you are kind of more of an independent worker, this card says like put more energy in so that you can attract more money to you at this time. And uh, finally, you have the five of hearts and the jack of clubs. So again, birth of something new, probably a new you. Um, again, these types of messages come up all the time at the end of the year, you know, where one day, away from the new year so a lot of you could just be transforming in some way because it's the new year 
you could be deciding to change in some way. I do, I do feel like these changes would be very beneficial. This can also be the card of like looking in the past. So, you know, again, it's the end of the year. A lot of people could be looking over the past year and th figuring out what they want to change in the new year as well. But it looks really, really good. So a lot of money showing up here as well. Tons of opportunity. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.